day so let's go and make some sewing plans together come on <music> Christine the Gemini Stitcher and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you've been following me since I started this channel just over a year ago thank you for sticking around and if you're new this is my Monday makes and plans where I talk about what I made last week and what I'm planning on making this week and a few other sewing interesting tidbits as well. So let's make a start with what I made last week. I had another busy week but it was a busy sewing week this week. I've got my summer capsule sew frugal wardrobe finished. Yay! I got my Maison Fauve Eclipse play suit done. Double yay! And yeah, I'm buzzing about it. So I'm all straight. I can start on my April plans, which I did last week, and start sewing some serious summer garments. So I'll just show you what I made last week, and then you can see heavy evidence that I actually did do it. We'll start with the play suit. The rails out, girls. I'm organised today. So, this is the Eclipse play suit from Maison Fauve. And I went with the turn up cuffs. I asked you, should I leave them longer in the short bit or have them short like they're meant to be? So, we've gone with the shorts. I only had the zip to put in the back, which I've done. I know you can't see it, but there is a concealed zip there. If, like me, you struggle with concealed zips, I recommend Sew Essentials blog on how to do a concealed zip. It's changed my life. I'm not scared of them anymore and they work perfectly. So what can I tell you about the Eclipse play suit? It's Maison Fauve pattern. I'll be putting the sizes at the bottom. I made a size 40. I'll also put my body measurements up for you and, and the size that I'm making and it might help you decide if you want to make the same thing what size you need to go for. So this play suit, Maison Faux patterns always have amazing details and this play suit has got pleats on the shoulder, a little turn up cuff and then the front bodice comes across at an angle, it comes down to a point and then back across to the midline giving it a little bit more detail. It's got front pockets and cute turn ups. Now, you can make this pattern as a dress as well, so that might be on my radar. I think that would look lovely in a nice, cool linen for the summer, so possibly a dress. The other thing I thought, because I, I really do like the fit of this, and I will pop an image of me wearing it, excuse the built bottle legs, we've not had any sun in Lancashire yet, but yeah, I like the fit. And I'm thinking I might extend the leg length and make a jumpsuit out of it as well. So three garments out of one pattern. Can't go wrong with that. So that's all ready for my jollies in May. Brill. Now, the second thing that I've been trying to make was to do a hack of the Style Art Roxy shirt. There's the Style Art shirt. And I wanted, what I really wanted was the Olya shirt, that one. But I didn't have the pattern. So I tried to hack the Roxy to look like that one. Do 
did it work? Yes and no. So this is what I've done so far. I've done the top with the stripes going across and then the bottom half with them going down. I've got the inseam breast pockets in, done that, but the sleeves aren't working because they're back wing sleeves. Tell you what, I'll just put it on and then you can see what I think, what, what you think. I've not put the cuffs on yet because I don't think it's going to work with cuffs because of how I've done it and it was the only way I could fit it on the fabric if I'm honest. So I've still got the collar to put on and the buttons so I'm pleased with the pockets and I'm pleased, pleased with the front. The back is the Roxy style with the split which I am pleased with but the sleeves because I've done those grow on sleeves I don't know if I put a cuff on there it just like I might try putting the cuffs on and seeing what my bit they feel like they're twisting that might be simply because I've not put the cuffs on what do we think yeah I'm glad I've done that I'm going to try and put the cuffs on I was convinced it wasn't going to work but maybe it will so I've just got the collar to do the buttons to put down the front and the cuffs to put on and it's good to go it's oh and it needs hemming <laughs> quite a bit to do really but I've made a start on it and I fell out with it because I didn't think the sleeves were working but now I've retried it on I'm going to try and put the cuffs on and see what happens it's not exactly the same as the Olya because the Olya shirt, the, the back sleeve, is like a normal fitted sleeve, whereas I've just done it as a back wing. This is a twall before I do my beautiful stripy fabric. And yeah, I think it's okay, but I'll let you know next week. Let's take it off. Sling that over there so that was the sewing that I did that was general sewing the rest of my sewing from this week was all so frugal so I already I'd already made this and it is the Tilda blouse and the Cass collots I'm just whizzing through these and I'll pop some pics up while I'm say, talking about them but I am going to do a full review of my free summer capsule collection later in the week probably Friday I think and you'll get loads of detail then so if you're really interested in how I got on with the capsule wardrobe tune in then so they were already made On the mannequin we've got the Angrasa dress that I was making, really pleased with this. There's an image of me wearing it. Obviously we need warmer weather. Made the belt and I got a buckle, bargain buckle, buckle from Abacards when I was there. I think it cost me £1.50. Brilliant, they were selling them all off for some strange reason. I should have bought more really but I just bought what I needed. And yeah, loving the dress. So that's three things made. Now the fourth thing was the Tiana's Closet Miranda tee. So I've made one with long sleeves and played around with the stripes. And then I've made one in the print. In mustard colour so there there are Miranda teas and then last but most definitely not least I've finished the jacket so this is the Annie jacket from Mood Fabrics I finished this 
Saturday afternoon and so frugal I had to go up Sunday so right on the last minute but loving that so there we go so not had too shabby a week finished the eclipse play suit for my holes started playing around with my mashup Roxy and all your shirt which hopefully I'll have finished next week and finished all my so frugal makes so I'm calling that a win this week so as well as sewing I've been out and about on Tuesday I went out with Sharon my bestie and she's been getting into quilting and rag quilting so she found a shop in Longridge called the Quilters Corner I don't do online it's in person shopping only it's a small shop and the lady who runs it is an award-winning quilter so if you're not going to learn from her you're not going to learn from anybody are you in my opinion and she's signed us up for a rag quilting course well it's a day to make a rag quilt so we had to go over and that's on the 20th so I'll give you more details on how we got on with that when I've done it and I'll try and take some pics on the day because I didn't take any when we were there on Tuesday I was too busy in the zone choosing fabrics so we had to choose the fabrics that we want to make our rag quilt with or our design we didn't have to buy the fabrics there obviously it made sense to support small local shops as well <clears throat> so i did buy most of my fabric for my rag quilt in the shop i'll just grab it for you my colors aren't they so there are a few different ways I didn't know of doing rag quilts and the lady in the shop doesn't use any wadding in the middle she uses the flannel so I had to choose three or four colours so I'm going to use some of the squares are going to be that some of the squares are going to be that and then you need flannel for the inside so I went for a plain cream Now you might think, why are you putting flannel inside? You're not going to see it. But with rag quilting, I'll try and pop an image of one up and then you understand what I'm talking about. If you know, you know. And if you don't, you don't have a clue, do you? But you snip, the, the seams are exposed and you snip them and it, it like frays and that's what it's meant to do. So it makes sense to have nice fabric on the inside as well, not quilting wadding. Because then it'll fray more, won't it? And it'll look nice. So I got those three from the Quilters Corner, but she didn't have. She had a lot of children's flannel. And cotton flannel isn't it? Nice cotton flannel isn't easy to find. But I like these two. They're my colours. And I was happy with the cream for the inside bit. Because I didn't know what. And then I wanted a proper pattern. But she didn't have it. So as we were sort of in the direction of Little Legs Fabrics we've had a trip there as well it was about 20 minute drive away so we went then went so she had to plan our quilt for us because she didn't know what sizes we were doing I want to make a couple of lap quilts uh, lap blankets for in the winter for me and the hubster and I'm going to start with mine and see how I get on. So she worked out the dimensions that I'd need for a lap blanket and she was doing the design and planning it for us so that I knew how much of each fabric I needed. So she'll come back in a couple of hours and we can work, sort your fabrics out. So that was great. She said we we're going to go and get something to eat in Longridge and I said well actually shall we go to Little Legs so we did I was rubbish and didn't take any images of in Little Legs but OMG 
it was great the ladies were lovely super helpful when we walked in they were all sat having the lunch oops so we said we're not disturbing you we'll just have a look round if I need you I'll give you a shout and yeah we spent a good hour searching looking and the one thing I wanted obviously was a patterned flannel and that is the only thing I said to her have you got any flannel fabrics and she said yeah there's a few over there she said but when I give me a minute to finish finish me sarnie and I'll go and have a look in the back anyway she came out with a few and one of them was this <laughs> so my colours absolutely love 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 it so my rag quilt is gonna have squares with that on squares with the lime green and squares with the yellow and then the white up the middle now i understand how you sew them all together and then you, you snip into your seams to make them look like a rag the other thing the lady did at the quilt shop she showed us a sample and when you stitched your squares she like cut she'd cut into it diagonally to make like a little envelope in the middle if you like and that's why you need the cream because that shows through but she said we can use because i didn't know how much of this i needed me popping pink so i said at little legs how much have you got i think she said there's about three and a half meters so she said you can have it for three you can have it for three meters and it was a real bargain because unfortunately apparently another local shop had had to close but she bought the stock so she was selling this gorgeous flannel yeah i've got it because i bought it all for four pound a meter why would you not just buy it so i snaffled that but i did say to her she's only just got all this stock in so i said is this going to go on the website she said yes but i've got to sort through it all i did offer to go in the back and sort it for her but she was having none of that <laughs> so yeah that's my rag quilt watch this space it's good to make something different sometimes isn't it instead of making clothes all the time quite like making bags but I quite like the idea of getting into quilting a bit don't know how good i'm gonna be at it we will see so keeping with the quilting theme fab day loved it left home at 10 o'clock racked up back at six <laughs> we've had a serious day out so when i got back i was thinking i thought i'm sure they do something at the nec to do with quilting and they do it's in august and they do the festival of quilts so message sharon quickly said do you want to go so we're going to go and we're going to stay over in birmingham oh fabric shopping so by then we should be expert quilters should we we'll know what we're talking about not hopefully we'll get lo learn loads while we're there and maybe We'll have done our rag quilts and want to move on to something a little bit more complicated watch this space are you a quilter if you are let me know what are you quilting at the moment what sort of things do you make other than quilts and throws what can you use patchworking for obviously lots of things There's, the only thing is i can think is lap blankets cushions or quilts and throws so let me know i'm sure there's loads of stuff you can use it for oh, you could use it for making bags couldn't you actually sky's the limit really with it dangerous so while we're on the subject of little legs i obviously had to buy some fabric it'd be rude not to wouldn't it i got the flannel that was great and then i've been searching online for a while 
for some nice soft shell fabric to make the itch to stitch and is coat. There it is. Quite a simple design but perfect in soft shell. It's specifically for soft shell fabrics and I thought it'd be great for spring seeing as how it's not stopped flipping raining. You never know I'll make this and it'll stop raining and the sun will come out. Win and I'll just put it away for next year or the autumn. Anyway they had this soft shell fabric. The background's purple and it's got blue, pink, yellow, flowers, green in the list, so every colour that you could think of and then the backing is a navy blue, like it's like felted, so it's shower proof. So I'm going to make so I'm going to make the Andes jacket in this and it might have to jump to the front of my queue because I need it now, don't I? There's no point me saying, oh no, I'm making all these in April. I've already made my plans and then the weather brightens up and I don't end up making it because I don't need it. So yeah, this is coming to the front of my list. So I might have it made by next week, you never know. We will see. So I got that. And then I also got some French terry. Because when I saw this, I just could not resist. So I've got a metre and a half of this. And I haven't got a clue what to make with it. I keep changing my mind. It's easy to just say I was wet shirt, isn't it? But it's a French terry, so it's it's lighter weight for spring. Yeah, obviously it's going to be a top, but it will definitely be made up into something this spring. Then the last thing I got in little legs was a lace webbing. I could not resist it. How much have I got? 1.7 metres of that for £3.40. Quite wide and it'll be perfect for one of my bags, won't it? So yeah, that's going in my stash. Then I just needed some zipper ends. So I've got five of those, rainbow holographic with little diamantes in the end £1.25 each so they will come in great for my bag making as well so that's it that's everything that I've done this week and everything that I've made so what am I doing next week I'm going to be making a start on the Andes jacket. Now it needs zips so I'm not sure I've got them in my stash so whether I'll be able to finish this I don't know but we will see. It's not a lion jacket but I've never worked with soft shell before. I tell a lie I did the pogo one of the pogo nips in soft shell. Yeah not the best fabric to sew with but I'll get my walking foot on and we'll be fine. So I'm going to make a start on the Andes jacket and I'm going to finish my shirt mash up. I'm going to get this finished and let you know how I got on with the sleeves dilemma. Not much of that to do so that and the Andes and then because I always like to give myself more than I can do if I get those done or I get to a point where I can't do any more of those, particularly with the jacket, then I'm going to move on to the Closet Court Mitchells because I've got the fabric for them. They're all cut out and I wanted, I mentioned last week, wanting to make the pom-pom waistcoat from Maison Fauve, the free pattern. 
and a few of you commented and said do a contrasting fabric on the back but I really wanted it all to be in the chambray fabric with the gold stripe I'll pop an image of it up here then you know what fabric I'm flipping talking about I wanted it all the same so I needed to find somewhere and somebody I can't remember your name came up trumps and Jenny Stitches has got this fabric so if you want it she's got it at £10 a metre so I went a little bit crazy on Jenny Stitches then if you spend £50 you get free postage and she had she's got discount off over Easter so yeah I ended up ordering two and a half metres of it obviously I don't need that because I thought I might quite like to make an Ilford in it and if not an Ilford then some shorts for my holes and a little top like combo or a play suit see anyway I've got lots of plans for it because it's a beautiful fabric and I'm looking forward to the Mitchells with the matching waistcoat and then the only other thing that I've ordered I got a bit is it FOMO? fear of missing out it's not fear of missing out because it's been and happened and gone everybody went I felt like everybody went to the Stitch Festival over the weekend apart from me I know that's not really what happened but that's how I felt and the only thing that I really really wanted to buy at the Stitch Festival was some fabric from Maison Fauve because if you order it online the postage is a little bit silly because I think it's come it, well it does come from France but I thought oh, I got really fed up that I hadn't gone because there was some fabric that I have been ogling online for months and umming and ahhing about so I ordered it that's the fabric I'm talking about and I'm going to make the dandelion jacket I've already got the pattern so there's the dandelion jacket I'm making that jacket in that fabric and I think for spring and summer I'm gonna wear it loads but obviously it's not arrived yet so it won't be something that I'm making this week but might creep into my makes the week after because I've been umming and ahhing about it for so long See, my April plans are changing already, aren't they? I have cut out the Summer in New York dress because I couldn't decide whether I was going to make that or I was, or I was going to make the Fay jumpsuit from Maison Fauve. But I am trying to be good with my pattern purchasing and I haven't got the pattern for the Fay so i backed away from that and thought no i'm going to make the summer in new york dress from seasons of east it's for the gathering let me just grab the fabric here we go so this is the fabric if you didn't see it last week it's from Abercarns in Mostyn. Paid £9 a metre for it. It's super floaty. It's a viscose satin, but it's going to be a pig to sew with because it's got a life of its own, which is the other reason why I went along the Seasons of East Summer in New York dress because I've made it before. It's quite a simple but effective pattern. I like the fit of it. It only has. five six pieces to it so I think in this fabric it was the best option so that was meant to be my make this week and it's already got shoved behind because I've got to make the Andy's jacket and I want the Mitchells but they're all they're all ones that I need for the gathering the coat will be good for taking for during the day if the weather's a bit iffy because we're going for three days I need the dress obviously for the gathering and I want the Mitchells and the waistcoat for 
in the daytime to look a bit smart or for another night out. Who knows, but I've, what I want to make those. So they're my priorities. The rest is a bonus. So for April, I've actually got the Andy's jacket, this, Mitchell's waistcoat and the da dandelion jacket. I really want to get that, so that's five things. Doable? Yeah. Yeah. Anything else over and above that, I'm taking as a bonus. So that's it for today guys. If you didn't watch the premiere of Vloggerbox, I will pop the link below for it for you. It was good fun. It's had some really positive comments on it, which is great. And everybody who's watched it, well, a lot of the people who've watched it want us to continue doing them, so we will. The next one's going to be on Sam's in the next couple of weeks. And obviously, I will pop links to that on my next Monday's vlog if she's planning on putting it up or it's up and yeah go and give it a watch watch me and Sam watching another vlogger having a few bevies and see what we've got to say for ourselves we had great fun making it and I'm sure you'll have great fun watching it so that's it for my Monday make some plans guys it's been great chatting to you please give me ideas of what I can make that French terrier and let me know if you've made a rag quilt, how did you get on with it? Did you put flannel on the inside or did you put wadding on? be interesting to see what how other people have done it. And I will let you know how we get on when we've been on the quilting course. And I'll be able to give you, hopefully by the end of April, the reveal of my lap blanket. So, I hope you have been having a lovely Easter break. I hope the weather's been better than it is here in Lancashire. The sun is shining today but it is bitter cold out there. Perfect sewing weather as they say. So I'm gonna get off now, do a bit more sewing and I will see you on Wednesday this week for one of Sam and I's sew alongs, well it's not a sew along, reviews of a pattern that we made together in Anglesey. So if you liked the one of the bell dress, there's another one coming of the DP Patterns sweatshirt on Wednesday. And then on Friday, three in a week, on Friday, I'm going to put up my full review of my summer capsule wardrobe, the free version. So if that's something you're interested in, keep your eyes peeled. Or better still, make sure you subscribe to my channel and then you don't miss out. Take care and happy sewing. Bye for now.